good news, wasn't it, Carl? It sure was, And say, Carl, did you know that Buddy Epson sings real good, too, or is that news to you? No, it's not news to me. I eat sings real good. He's over there talking to Chet Atkins. Let's go then and get him to All sing. All right, let's go right on over. <laughs> hey, Buddy, have you got over your episode with David Crew Cut yet? I I'll never get over that. <laughs> singing a song for us, buddy. Well, I'd love to, Benny. Why don't you kids sit here and I'll give you a word of fatherly advice, especially you, young man. When you travel down the trail of life, always beware of one thing, a stranger with a deck of cards. I stepped aboard a riverboat bound for New Orleans, and there I met a man who seemed to be a man of me. We got into a friendly game, at first I won a lot, but somehow when the stakes got high, he always took the punt with a wild card, he had a wild card, luckiest man I ever saw, drew a wild card, every draw, we drifted by St. Louis, I was hoping we would land, before I get through hoping, he had dealt another hand, I had a pair of aces, so of course I bet my stack, but when he called my hand, that man had aces back to back, was a wild card, he had a wild card. I never saw such a dog or luck. We went ashore at Memphis just to take a little stroll. I didn't feel too bad because I still had half my roll. The boat pulled out for Natchez and my luck was running great. Until I saw him make one draw and fill an inside straight. With a wild card. He had a wild card. I just had no luck at all. With this game or grab at all. I told him that he cleaned me out of all my ready cash. He got up like a gentleman and twirled his mustache. He had me meet a lady friend. And from the way she looked, before that boat passed past Rouge, I knew that I'd been hooked by a wild card. She was a wild card. The way she played her little game made those other cards look tame. She took me to the railing, and the moon was big and high. I we only kissed, and then I missed a stick pin from my tie. I watched what next, and then my ring, and brother, it's the truth. I didn't worry till I lost my golden pivot to so that wild card. She was a wild card. This little lady known as Lou took the car fare from my shoe. We got to New Orleans when they put the gangway down. The pair of them walked off that boat just like they owned the town. He wore my ring and stick pin, and as if I needed proof, I dangled from his watch chain with my golden pivot dude. She was his wild card, his wicked wild card. Now the moral of the story is beware. When you're traveling, stick to solid there. You know, I'm getting with this operator. Oh, well, simple. what can we do for you, buddy? Well, you know, I have always known that one of the mainstays of the opera was a sacred or religious song, and I wish you'd sing one for us. Yes. It sure is, and I'd like to do one for you. Thank 
you very much. Before we go on with any more singing, we'd like to thank the editors of TV Star Parade for the fine story about our Grand Ole Opry show. All of us appreciate it very much, and we want all of you folks to be looking for the next issue of TV Star Parade. It'll be out May the 5th. And Buddy Epson, the Collin Kids, and the Briar Hoppers, let's everybody get out here and do one more good old song, huh? Yeah. And come back and see us again four weeks from tonight when Purina brings you another big show with lots of your grand old Opry favorites. And Purina's guest stars will be the DeMarco sisters along with the Junior Bra Hoppers and the visitor all the way from Hawaii. Come be with the section of Purina's Grand Old Opry. is produced in Nashville by WSM Television for the Ralston Purina Company, makers of Purina Chows, sanitation products, and Ralston cereal. Stay tuned for the Lawrence Welk Show on the ABC Television Network.